let's just start with some facts right away. Some people are just naturally better at certain things than other people. Some people are great athletes. Some people are excellent programmers. Some people are just naturally better at learning mathematics. It's just the way it is. There is nothing you can do about it. There is nothing I can do about it. There is nothing anyone can do about it. That natural ability is not something that we can really change. But it's only a very, very small part of the equation. Talent only takes you so far. And, and I mean that with like 100% sincerity. Talent only takes you so far. I have seen it in the hundreds, thousands of students that I've taught over the years. I've had so many super smart students who just fail to perform. And I'm not saying it's their fault that they failed. You know, I don't know why they failed. Some people are good at things and they just don't like them. You know, I, I knew this guy once, he was super smart, brilliant at mathematics. And one day he looked at me and he said, I like mathematics, but I like doing other things too. And then he went off and did something else besides math. And I was just crushed. I was shocked. My, my, I couldn't believe, you know, this person who I looked up to as like a math genius, like a math god, he decided to say, hey, no, I want to do something else with my life. And so that happens all the time on a much smaller scale, right? A lot of people have talents and they don't use them. But talent only takes you so far. So in this video, I want to talk about that. I want to talk about people who feel that they're not smart enough. If you feel like you are not smart enough, realize that it's not just about how naturally smart you are, right? Talent only takes you so far. And talented people fail all the time for a variety of reasons. One of the things that you can benefit from if you feel that you're not talented is that you can work on discipline. People who have natural abilities, people who are gifted learners, who can learn things quickly, they take it for granted, and I've seen it. And again, I'm not saying it's their fault. It's just a consequence of having the gift of being talented. I've had students who are able to learn very quickly in certain math classes. They just blow their classmates away. They're done with the test in 20 minutes. Other students will take a full hour. I mean, they're the first ones done. They get 100. You know, they, they get up to turn in the test and everyone just looks at them like, oh my God, that person is done. Those students, right? I'm sure you've seen them in your classes, right? They get up, they turn in their test and you, you, you know, one of two things. They either did really, really bad or they did really, really good. And I always, I always question it, you know, when, when someone would turn in their test, I would, you know, really early, I would think, hey, they either bombed the test or they aced it. Many times those people who finished really early were very, very talented and they did very, very well but they made a lot of sloppy mistakes and sometimes their grades were not as good as they could have been, right? Because they lacked discipline, right? They lacked that effort, that tenacity that you gain from not having the talent. So if you feel like you're not smart enough, try to embrace everything else you have, right? Try to use your dedication. Try to use your discipline. I honestly think that that helps you. One of the things that happens to people who are very talented in mathematics, and I've seen this happen countless times, I mean, it happens all the time, is that eventually they get to a point where they get crushed. It is soul crushing, right? They'll come across a new topic and they just won't get it. And they'll take a test and they'll fail their first test. You know, these are students who've had 4.0s. All of a sudden, they have a failure in their life. And they have a very hard time dealing with it because they're not used to dealing with failure. So if you're a person who is not that smart, if you feel like you're slower than your classmates, you have something that these talented people don't have. You have the ability to accept failure, deal with it, and get back up and come back and attack it again, right? That's the thing you have. You have that tenacity and resilience that a lot of talented people don't have because it's always been easy for them. You know, if, if things are easy for you, if you're able to learn easily or, or, or be very good at a sport without much effort or build a lot of muscle without training that hard, 
you know, if you're able to get through life easily, if everything in your life is easy, which which sounds great, right? We all want an easy life, right? So it doesn't really make sense because we all want an easy life. But hear me out. If everything in your life is easy, then you don't really appreciate it. And it doesn't make you a stronger person, right? It's it's through the struggles of learning that you become stronger. Right? That's how you get good. That's how you become strong. And that's how you can catch up to people who are more talented naturally than you. Because you can. I've seen it. I've seen people who are naturally not that good surpass students who have a lot more natural ability simply because their work ethic is just a little bit, and I'm not talking like crazy work ethic, I mean just a little bit more than the person who's talented and doesn't work hard. And I, and I know it's hard for a lot of people to, to believe this. And I know this only because I've taught. I taught for so many years. I saw so many students uh, from all kinds of backgrounds, um, you know, people with all kinds of knowledge. And you see people at different levels and you see how they work, you see how they study, you see how they write their mathematical solutions. They're all different and they're all at different levels. And you can see the ones who are naturally talented and you can kind of see the ones who work hard and are talented and you, you see the differences in people, you see the differences in natural ability. And it's really a lot more than just natural ability. It's a lot about the work ethic. And I'm not saying it's bad to have natural talent, but when you do, it can really, really hurt you. And so I think you can learn from this by thinking about, you know, why do talented people fail? Another, another really big flaw of people who are talented is they lack patience, right? When they encounter something new that they can't solve, they're just used to everything being so easy. You know, they're just used to getting everything right? They, they can learn something new quickly and it's easy for them. So when they encounter something that's difficult, they struggle with it. Whereas if you feel you're, you're not smart enough, <laughs> that's your whole life, right? Your, your entire life is a struggle. You know, you're, you're struggling to figure out, you know, how to find B in the formula for Y equals MX plus B. I, I remember learning that. I remember sitting at the kitchen table learning that. And I was thinking, wow, this is really interesting. This is a line. I've got to find B, which is the Y intercept. I remember that struggle. I remember logarithms. Oh my God, those were so tough. I actually did not understand those. It took me months. I actually failed the test and you know, it, I didn't have the talent. I didn't have the ability at that point in time to grasp it for whatever reason, right? I, I don't know what it was. It could have been my background. It could have been distractions in my life, which my life was pretty good then. I didn't have many distractions at that particular point. So I think it was just a lack of background or just my mind wasn't ready. Whatever the reason though, I failed, right? I failed and I had to come back from that. And that's what makes you stronger. So if you're not smart enough, remember that and, and keep working hard. What you don't want to do is you don't want to look at people who are smarter than you, people who are better than you. You know, you look at them, you say, hey, this, this person got an A on the test and they didn't even study. And I studied for 10 hours, went to the teacher's office, went to the tutoring center and I failed and no matter what, I'm still not getting it. So what, right? You need to keep pushing. You need to keep trying and eventually you'll get there. I mean, that happened to me in physics. My teacher used to say that I was burning a hole in the chair next to his office. I remember he said that once and I thought, what a weird comment. I didn't even think about it. But basically after class, I would go sit in a room outside his office and I would do my homework. And I would sometimes go ask him questions, but very, very rarely. I didn't want to bug the teacher. I was very shy. I sat in the back of the class. I was the kind of guy that would never raise his hand. Super antisocial, super, super, just, yeah, yeah. I was not a talkative person like I am right now. I was very shy. And I would just sit there and do my homework every day. And then on the test, uh, you know, I never got the top score. The teacher would give a signed dollar bill to the person who got the top score in the class. And all my friends got the dollar, all of them, except me. I never got the dollar, ever. I never got it. And I worked so hard in that class. And, and that was the first class where I really felt like I was stupid. So I've been there. I, I've been that person who is not smart enough. I know what it feels like. But I don't know. I sometimes think that it's inspiring to hear stories like that because I've seen other people's stories and, and it inspires me. The people that have inspired me in my life the most are not the people who are super talented. Sure, I look up to people who are 
super talented and successful. And I think, wow, that person is really impressive. Look what they did. You know, they won the Fields Medal or wow, that person is really good at making YouTube videos. Like their editing skills are just like insane. Like, wow, you know, my videos, you know, very low edit videos. <laughs> I'm not the best at it, right? But I still keep making videos because I like making videos and I hopefully that the information that I put out you know, helps people in the world. But it's not those people that inspire me. It's the underdog stories, right? It's the people who struggle. You know, the people who really, really just don't have the ability, but they keep trying. There's this old movie, I forget if it's from the 80s or the 90s. Oh, it's amazing. It's called Rudy. It's about this little guy. His name is Rudy. And, you know, he comes from like a blue collar family and he wants to play football for Notre Dame. And he's just such a little guy. So he gets out there and he's like, coach, let me in, coach. And he's such a little guy and he runs and he's got his little short legs. And, he, you know, he's playing with these huge dudes and he's getting knocked around and beat up and he's bleeding. And he gets back out there and he tries. That is one of the most inspirational movies I have ever seen in my life. Why? Because he's an underdog. He lacks talent. You know, he wasn't good enough, but he still got out there and he still tried. And I've seen that in mathematics. You know, I had a student once who uh, she would come to my office almost every day. And when she wasn't in my office, she was in the tutoring center and she worked so hard. I would, I would sit there and I would explain stuff to her and I would explain to her multiple times before she got it. Whereas if I were to explain the same concept to you, you would probably get it like that. So it just took her that much longer to learn, but she never gave up. She never got frustrated. She was never like, oh, I don't get this. And like, she always had a smile on her face. She was always professional. She was always there. She was always hardworking. And to me, that is the definition of success. That is super, super inspiring. Those are the best stories. Those are the ones that inspire people. So, you know, if you're not smart enough, work hard and you might inspire someone else. It inspired me, right? I mean, I still think of her today because... I don't think I've ever seen anyone work that hard on mathematics, ever. I've never seen anyone work that hard on mathematics. It was basic mathematics. It was like algebra, basic stuff, uh, graphing circles, really, really basic mathematics. But just she just worked so hard. And I don't know where she is today. I'm sure she got her degree and she's doing fine. Lovely person, just a really good person. So yeah, not smart enough. If you're not smart enough, what can you do about it? Work harder, you know, watch videos, read math books. You know, do whatever it takes, but realize that talent only takes you so far. So when you, when you see those talented people, you know, look up to them. Wow, that's impressive. But I still think the underdog stories are the best. What do you all think about talent and intelligence and people who work hard and people who aren't smart enough? Leave comments below in the comment section. Until next time, good luck. Keep doing math.